use it. Well, Christian is back. He's going to help us all uh, show us how to use that <laughs> wallpaper to take your DIY projects to the next level. Hello again, Christian. <laughs> Well, I have to admit, I'm a wallpaper convert. I feel growing up, I hated wallpaper. It kind of went out of fashion, but now it's back in style and we're all wallpapering lots of items. And what I love about wallpaper is it makes like an instant lift to your project. It's also, I mean, if you've looked at wallpaper, some wallpaper is very expensive these days. So it's a great way to use up your old pieces after you've done your big wallpaper project. This is a great way to recycle your wallpaper. I'm right with you there. I grew up thinking, oh my gosh, this is so dated and gross. Now it's so beautiful again, wallpaper. So for everyone at home, this is what you're going to need uh, for the project right now so you can follow along with these DIYs. Now it is time to learn about DIYing with wallpaper. Why don't you show us your first project, my friend? So our first project is a custom clock. So, I mean, I've got a very minimalist clock at home. I'm sure you're probably wondering how I even tell time. I don't even know, <laughs> but it's a great little clock. So it's easy to update this with some great wallpaper. It's actually really easy for any clock. You can actually carefully take off all the hands. I don't know if you know this, you can remove the hands from your clock and then you're just left with the mechanism. It has a little screw that you unscrew and then you've got your flat surface. So even if you had numbers on this already, we can cover them over. So I suggest measuring out your wallpaper, picking one out. So I picked out this beautiful flamingo that I think we've all seen in my bathroom before. Mm -hmm. And I thought, why not make a flamingo clock? So I would say pre-measure it, use a ruler, cut it, and then to apply it, this is pre-pasted wallpaper, but I suggest just using either some watered down white glue or some decoupage glue. And you're just gonna make a nice thick coat on your board. So just cover it all over, be nice and messy, stick it on top. If you've got any bubbles, I always say use a little credit card mm -hmm. or like a membership card mm -hmm. and smooth out any bubbles. And then ta-da, we've got a beautiful custom clock that goes with your decor. So good, I think that is fantastic. Next, you're gonna make our underwear drawer pop. Underwear drawer, underwear drawer is next. So. Uh, first thing to do is empty your underwear drawer. This is also a great time to like edit your underwear to make sure it's good. But it's a great way to update your underwear drawer. And I'm going to do the same principle. So you're going to line the bottom, which is actually something I think you've probably done before. Pre-measure. So I pre-measured and cut out with some scissors. And then we're just going to slide it in. You can either use your glue again or some double-sided tape. But what I love is I discovered this new idea is you could also do the side. Ooh. So when you pull it out, you see a little on the side and the inside. So you're getting this nice pop in your dark wood furniture and you can see everything better. And it keeps it nice and clean and organized. It's easier to wipe out, right? I love this. So it's a double lesson. Get rid of the holy underwear and then bump up that drawer. It yeah. looks beautiful with that dramatic uh, wallpaper there. Gorgeous. Okay, next we've got the lampshade. Next, the so lampshades. Finding custom lampshades, I don't know if you've looked into them, custom printed lampshades sometimes can cost you hundreds of dollars. So I actually have this plain lampshade at home that I wasn't loving. It's really easy because if you pick a drum shape, it's really easy to make a, a template for it because the top and the bottom are the same size. So you're basically measuring out and cutting just a long skinny strip of wallpaper. So you're just gonna measure it out so it's the same size as your lampshade. This I actually did with a peel and stick wallpaper that I had left over, which makes it even easier. But if you don't have peel and stick wallpaper that you work with, you're just gonna use a bead of hot glue. You slowly roll out around your lampshade and you get a custom new lampshade with a great tropical print. That is so smart and looks so custom perfect. My goodness. Okay, so speaking of custom, let's customize the closet, shall we? Yeah, so, I mean, a lot of our closets can kind of use a little pop of color. A lot of us are now doing freestanding closets that are actually open without doors. So I say, why not make it custom and step it up a little? So you can actually wrap your hangers. Custom rack hangers can be quite expensive, but if you've got these sort of plain wooden hangers kicking around, it's really easy with your wallpaper. So first thing I suggest is to grab a pencil, and you're going to grab your hanger, and you literally are just going to make a template. Grab your scissors, cut it out through the magic of TV. You can see I cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> now, this one is the peel and stick wallpaper, so it's quite easy. You just peel it off and stick it on. But the same process would apply if you're not using peel and stick, is you grab your sort of Mod Podge or white glue, do a coat on your hanger, let it dry, coat on top just so it's protected, and then we've got custom little hangers for your closet.
This is so beautiful and so easy. And all of the things I wouldn't necessarily have even thought of. I wouldn't have thought of doing that with your hangers. These are great projects, Christian. I love that you're always thinking of the bottom line uh, with us and saving us some cash.